Ja, Luis. I will destroy them all. Welcome to the coordinate. You have been chosen as humanity's last hope to fight against the Titans, or possibly read a very long manga. Manga? 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 What do you reckon it is? Mango. Mango. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Attack on Titan Mango podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I like so, the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're listening to The Coordinate, an Attack on Titan indeed. podcast. Woo-hoo. I and am your one of your hosts. <laughs> I am Bill. I'm your other host, Tyler. <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, we are. So we're starting this podcast, just a brief background, because I really just wanted to talk about the new chapters with someone. But Bill's only <laughs> seen the first season of the anime. <laughs> yeah, so we got to get stuff. him caught up to speed real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so sorry for you when I saw your message saying, hey, is anyone else reading the manga? <laughs> Uh, I really want to talk about stuff. And everyone was just like, nah, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah, chapter like, 121 just came out yesterday, and it's like insanely ridiculous. And <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I think we're going to try and do this monthly, aren't we? Yes. And as you mentioned, we want to catch myself up. And also, I thought it'd be a bit strange just to start a podcast like. <laughs> uh, yeah. In the final arc. <laughs> yeah, here's chapter 121 of the final arc. <laughs> yeah. So, so the idea is is that we're going to go through the current arcs uh, every once a month. So this is going to be a nice light episode, I think. <laughs> I think this arc's very short. Yeah. Uh, so we sort of catch up. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> that way, I get caught up. You guys get caught up out there in the universe of podcasting land. And uh, yeah, then we'll all be caught up. <laughs> we can actually start reading the manga. Yep. Uh, so Tyler, how often is the manga released? Uh, it's monthly. It comes out every month on the 9th. Um, on the 9th? On the 9th. So there are two numbers in Attack on Titan that come up often, and it's the number 9 and the number 13. So I just realized yesterday that every chapter came out on the 9th, which, I mean, it could just be a coincidence because it's published in a monthly <laughs> magazine. Or weekly magazine, I think. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but the, do, night, the, yeah. the night seems like such a strange date because obviously, you know, it's not like the first Monday of every month. It's like specifically the ninth. Yeah, so... Conspiracy theories. <laughs> Conspiracy. It's weird. Um, it's weird. So, Is yeah. Aladdin real? Um, um, <laughs> if you're not that- familiar with Attack on Titan... Uh, the Japanese name is, I'm going to butcher this, uh, Shingeki no Kyojin. Uh, which, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Shingeki, uh, yeah, Shingeki o Kyojin. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. No Kyojin, yeah. And Kyojin. it's uh, written and illustrated by Hajime Isayama, which is probably also not how you say his name, but that's what we're going with. Um, yeah. yeah, and there's not a short way to like, you, we can't shorten that like, uh, what was it, the gooch? The gooch, yeah. <laughs> uh, is it, had, how, how's Haji spelled? Uh, A-A-H-A-J-I-M-E. Ah, Hajimi. Hajimi? Yeah, because there's a, sorry, there's a, <laughs> uh, one of the guys who made Final Fantasies after the gooch stopped making them was Hajimi, uh, Hajimi Kabata. Uh, <laughs> Hajimi. Because, <laughs> ah. Oh, I can't say it now. It sounds a bit like uh, Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. Hajini <laughs> Kibata. <laughs> and there's actually a YouTube parody of that. Nice. Hajimi <laughs> Tabata. Oh, Tabata, that's it. Hajimi <laughs> Tabata. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Uh, I apologize if I occasionally slip into talking about Final Fantasy. Um, I have an RPG podcast and I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I heard you're starting another sort of Final Fantasy related podcast. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, I think. No, oh god, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh Troy, what are you doing to me? I mean, what's what's this? Is this my fifth podcast that's ongoing? Uh, I mean, it depends <laughs> on sure. what you count as ongoing. <laughs> I'm sure. I, well, uh, we've we've clearly set aside these rules, Tyler, as part of the network. That a dead podcast counts as a podcast that has not released. An episode in over a year 
<laughs> yeah. So that is a class that's ongoing. So technically, dead podcast society <laughs> is not dead. Um, <laughs> I've got audio only experience, not dead. Uh, RPG Golden Years, which is very much ongoing because that's weekly. Uh, Tarvrian podcast number four, again another weekly podcast. So this will be number five. Do I oh, do we include um, <laughs> your day, week, month, year reviews? Um, have you done an I've, episode yet? I've done two episodes for that. Oh. Yeah. So, um, hmm. so that would be six. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna run out of days of the week to record on because you've got that one hour break. <laughs> that would be my one hour time slot. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, we should get into this before we like throw off everyone who's not familiar with our other podcast, and they're just like these guys are just gonna talk about yeah. themselves. It's like, yeah. <laughs> No, there, there will be there will be a link to the uh, probably work network where you can investigate any other podcast of ours that you wish. <laughs> yep, and now on to the <clears throat> giant humans eating other humans. <laughs> uh, yes, um, so, yeah, so I'm, for, I'm the giant human. You're the giant human. You're go- you're going to eat me. <laughs> I am if I can if I can find my way over to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, for today's episode, you will have need to have read or watched the well. You will need to have read the first two chapters of the manga or have watched the first two episodes because it's about the same. Yes. I was very impressed with how um, true to the manga the TV show is. Yeah, it follows it really closely. And um, (laughs) Akuna Matata is very, very (laughs) involved with the production of the um, anime. Yes. He actually kind of uses it as a way to like correct mistakes that he feels he's made with the manga. So it's kind of a better way to experience it. Um, <laughs> one major change is um, he like reworked like the order that events are shown in the anime. So like in the manga, there's like, it like jumps, does like time jumps back and forth. And in the anime, it's all straightforward. Like as it happens <laughs> i did notice that because so because today we're covering the first what's called uh, what's technically the first arc so which is the first two two parts of the manga yep, but i'm pretty the, sure the second part of the manga doesn't happen until like a couple episodes in yeah so the third episode of the anime is like where they're training Mm-hmm. And that starts like chapter fifteen, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. so, so possibly just watch all of season one. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> <laughs> if you go into this, and then and then that will catch you up on at least arcs one and two, I think. Uh, I think that's arcs uh, all the way through three. I think no four. Oh wow! Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, nah, we'll get we'll get to the semantics later on. Yep. So today's <laughs> arc is the fall of Shiganshina which is probably also not pronounced that way. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I watched the anime in Japanese, so I don't really pay attention to what I'm hearing. I'm just reading it. So yeah, I've only seen, I've only seen the, uh, the English version of the anime. Um, Okay. And I'm sure it's not pronounced that way. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I'll try and watch it before the next episode so i can like get some pronunciations down because there's a lot of things like as i was taking notes i'm like i don't i'm not sure how to say that (laughs) oh yeah tell me about it rpgs man (laughs) especially ones that aren't voice acted (laughs) all all i get is comments about how i'm butchering names (laughs) (laughs) yeah you get that with the tavern as well (laughs) yeah well even even the even the pronunciation of tavern is kind of suspect (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but yes uh Tarian, will of time podcast <laughs> uh, yeah so do you want to tell us what happens in this first chapter yes people die <laughs> <laughs> um so uh the first chapter starts <clears throat> uh with a nice picture of attack on titan and we're introduced to something happening there's a man a gigantic man smashing a wall <laughs> uh, and that's about all that we can see uh, and it, then it, it's just kind of strange because it kind of just flickers isn't it like you say we, we're introduced we, we're, we're seeing a bunch of people looking at some smoke coming over a wall and then we see it from the other end and there's some gigantic human and everyone looks petrified and then it suddenly <laughs> skips to a bunch of men riding on horseback through the woods 
<laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, loads of shouting and kill it without fail. <laughs> and um, so there's some things I realized in the uh, scene with the men riding on horses that I didn't realize the first time I like watch the anime of this like there's characters in here who you'll see later that i was like oh that's that person i had no clue they were in this <laughs> yeah i know it's so strange i'm pretty sure as well this little scene with him running through the woods is it like the first bit of season two? <laughs> oh no this is uh this does get played a few times so i it might come up in season two but... oh no it's not season two it's, it's it's quite far through season one though when that bit actually happens no no but, yeah, this it's just... is this is happening in uh present day of the anime cool okay so yeah so, i'll explain how it fits in when we get there but it's, it's really cool though because we've got a bunch of guys riding through horseback they're all shouting at each other they all look really serious there's a huge titan in the middle of the woods and then they start pulling out these weird sword things <laughs> which mm-hmm. have like uh grappling hooks that fire out and clip into the trees and then they swish off of their horses and then start like flying through the trees by like attaching and detaching the grappling hooks and then they've got these weird like um they're almost like gigantic stanley blades aren't they i don't know if you get those cheap stanley blades where you could just like uh they come with ridges in them so you can snap off the end oh yeah sharper. yeah <laughs> that's kind of the best way i can think of describing them but they've got these two like gigantic stanley swords <laughs> yeah because they just have like sheaves where they just like put it in and pull out a new blade when they need it so yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool but th- this rig that they've got on is amazing um do you remember what the name of it is because they don't mention it here oh yeah it's uh the odm gear it's omnidirectional mobility gear <laughs> yeah it's just like this is like a um, a 14 year old bill's wet dream basically <laughs> this is like <laughs> oh my god i wish i had something that cool that i could play around with where i could just like fling myself but it's like it's like mechanical spider-man yeah, and it's really cool. The only thing I don't understand is I don't know how they unhook from things. Yeah, uh, let's not worry about that. <laughs> it <laughs> seems like <laughs> they should like have something that just like cuts off those and it shoots out new ones, and they just have like thousands of them on them at any time. But <laughs> I know, but imagine about the gear you'd have to carry around for that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, they just seem to sort of detach themselves nicely. I assume it's sort of like as it hits something, it expands, and then there's like some sort of little maneuver you do that makes it unexpand and let go of whatever it's connected to but it's just so cool it means all these things can fly through they all the, all these guys can just like fly through the air and stuff after things as long as there's enough you know objects around that they can attach themselves to mm-hmm. and it ends with just some guy shouting let's teach this thing the power of the human race yeah and so yeah. uh just a few things to point out here um so the person leading this, uh, his name is Commander Shadis, which is probably also pronounced wrong. Um, and the Sounds other right. person you could uh, find in here is the person who ends up succeeding him as commander um, after this, and his name's Erwin Smith. And I know I pronounced that one right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's see, the guy doing the attack, his name is Braun. And I'm going to point him out for a reason because we will see him again later in this chapter <laughs> we'll see some of him later in this chapter okay all right <laughs> so uh next and then it just suddenly flicks to a, a boy asleep under a tree yeah so we have uh aaron having a dream where this girl is saying see you later aaron <laughs> is he and, yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah, see you later, Aaron. Aaron. And then he actually wakes up and there's a girl waking him up saying, Aaron. <laughs> and it's his good friend. Is it Mai? Uh, it's uh, Mikasa. Miss, uh, Mikasa. Yep. Ooh, got my and she's terrible. like <laughs> basically his adopted sister. <clears throat> yeah, that's all a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get what's going on with that. And then, yeah, she's waking him up. She's asking him if he's crying. Which uh, is very strange. Why is he crying? I don't know. He just has this weird dream under this tree. Now, where is this this tree? Because when I first saw this, I kind of thought, is he sitting outside of the wall? <laughs> no, no, they're definitely inside the wall still. Cool. Uh, we'll get to the walls later, though. <laughs> the walls <laughs> is a poor thing, but they don't bring it up yet. Um, and, yeah, he sort of, like, he's, he realizes, oh, yeah, I am crying, but he didn't realize he was crying. And then we treat you to some strange numbers. Eight, four, 
five. Okay, so that's uh, that's the year. Ah. Yeah, that's not clear at all from just like showing up randomly. Yeah, uh, that was wigging me out. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's one later on where he says something and there's a number underneath it. I was like, is that how many titans there are? <laughs> um, how does he know this? Yeah, but later not, on there's a time jump, uh, five years, and it says eight fifty. Right. Okay. So we've so we've time so we've time jumped to eight four five. Uh, so was there a time jump for the other bit at the top? Uh, no, that was all in eight four five, just um, <clears throat> different day. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're in eight four five. Uh, so eight hundred forty five years after the Titans attacked. Uh, no. <clears throat> no. No, I don't know what that's in reference to because the Titans showed up two thousand years ago, roughly. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, maybe we'll find out later on what the. Uh, well, you know, the R, R, <laughs> ACs are. Uh, but yeah, basically, the guy, they walk back into their big town, uh, which is called Trost. Is that right? Nope. Nope. Uh, Trost is a different Another. city. Yeah, they're yeah, okay. in... Um, what did I say I was? Shigen... <laughs> oh, yeah, Shimi, Shigen... Shimigawa or something. <laughs> uh, Shigen Shina. <laughs> Chick- chicken Shima. Yes, so, so, chicken salad. So, so they're in Chicken Shima. <laughs> chicken Shish Kebab. <laughs> And um, as they're walking through the gate, they see a bunch of uh, guards sitting around playing cards, drinking, and uh, generally not doing a lot, uh, which is generally the case here because everyone feels really safe within these walls. And uh, little little Erin gets very upset and pissy about it. <laughs> yeah, he yells at one of them named uh, Mr. Hans about yep. how he's being lazy and they should be prepared in case there's an invasion. And he's like, my dad said that you should not be at ease because like some shit could go down like what if they broke in i know they haven't broken in in 107 years but what if they did <laughs> yeah i know and he's just like shut up kid yeah <laughs> i'm an adult <laughs> i've gone through the training i'm in charge of the wall piss off <laughs> <laughs> but uh mr hans actually has like a lot of respect for aaron's dad grisha because mm. um He's a doctor and he saved his wife from some kind of like illness that was like going around. So he's like, maybe your dad is right. You know, he's a good yeah. dude. Yeah. Uh, whereas the other guys with him sort of refer to him as being a crackpot. Yeah. <clears throat> and Erin a couple of times mentions as well that this is a bit like being a caged animal. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mr. Hans tells them that, you know, when you're a soldier, you get to stay on top of the wall and you can see how like tiny the titans are compared to the wall and like they can't do anything <laughs> yeah i was just looking at that so because it, it says 100 164 feet which is a 50 meter fortress yeah and, and uh, the, uh like the largest titans are usually like 15 meters which is pretty damn tall <laughs> yeah they're big boys so erin erin and um uh miss M- miss Saka? Misaka, no. Misaka, uh, they make their Mikasa. they make their way. <laughs> they continue to make their way through the uh, city, going back to Erin's um, house, and then suddenly the alarms start going off, and people start gathering around, and there's a expedition returned. From, yes. Uh, so occasionally, occasionally, what happens in this world is that they send out a bunch of uh, troops to go and attack the Titans, which seems senseless. Um, so their goal is to like explore what's outside of the walls and like learn about the Titans. So these are the guys that we saw in that previous scene. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, <laughs> and they come back worse for wear. <laughs> yep. Aaron's like super excited about it because he wants to join the Survey Corps, which is who yep. these guys are. <clears throat> but everyone else is like, why are why are my tax dollars paying for this? They're just going out there and feeding them. And um, yeah, yeah, I, and they're not, they're not wrong either. <laughs> most of these, most of the people in this expedition have died. <laughs> yep. And uh, they even get confronted by a distraught mother saying, "Where is my son?" And um, <laughs> really, my brawn. really, un- yeah, my brawn. And really, un- untactfully, they just they give her his hand. <laughs> it's yes. like, well, this is all we could find of him. <laughs> so um, this is the hand of that guy who like was the one attacking in that scene. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, he did. But yeah, it's just it's just so bad. Like the woman's on her knees, going, "What's happened to my son?" And the bloke's just like, 
gives her a package which she unwraps and his hands in it. Yeah. It's just like, why not just say he didn't make it rather than be like, oh, here you go. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> why, left. why bother here's bringing a, back the hand? Yeah, here's a doggy bag from the restaurant. <laughs> 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 so it's just like, it's so savage. And yeah, she, she just like starts crying. And the bloke, even the bloke who gave her the hand just looks like absolutely like terrified. Like his eyes yeah. are all sunken in. And yeah, he looks like, oh, why did I just do it that way? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so tactful, and he shouts, and he then shouts in her face because she's like, "Oh, I hope he didn't die in vain." He's just like, "We accomplished nothing." <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, really, really setting the scene here of like the desperation of these people. Yeah. Like, so um, he, this is Commander Shadis, the one like <laughs> yelling, and like I think this expedition like really broke him. I'm pretty sure this is what caused him to retire from being the commander. Just because, like, all of his people died or, like, came back, like, maimed or an arm. Mm. So. But, yeah, and he's like, we're not any closer to finding out what these things are. And everyone just looks very distraught. Even Arian's a bit like, oh, man, I want to join this lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Misa just pulls him away. Well, yeah, there's this one guy, <clears throat> like, talking shit about the uh, survey cores, and Aaron throws, like, a rock or something at his head. <laughs> and uh, Mikasa is like, we're getting out of here. And she, like, yanks him out and, like, throws him, like, I don't know, like, 100 feet. <laughs> yeah, I like I the, bloke, the bloke shouting after him as well, going, what do you think you're doing, you little shit? <laughs> that's, that's what he says in the manga. So, yep. yep. Mark the episode as explicit. I finally sworn. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. So, yeah, then they go back home, and um, Mikasa lets Aaron and her parents know that he wants to join the survey course because she's a little tattletale. <laughs> yep. And uh, his mum is best not pleased. No, yeah, not best pleased. <laughs> so, I was going to speak grammatically quick. <laughs> <clears throat> Carla is not happy to hear about it, and she's like telling his dad, Grisha, like, talk some sense into your son, like, Make him not be so stupid. Um, but Grisha's just like, you know what? I've got to go. He's a doctor. He's like, I got to go see some patients, like a couple of towns up. Aaron, when I get back, you know that basement I've got with all these secrets? Here's the key. <laughs> I'm going to show you what's in my secret basement. <laughs> it's just like, uh, my fang's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I won't come back from your basement alive. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really curious if Aaron's mom knows what's in the secret basement or is she just like, what do you mean secret basement? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this house just, has a basement? <laughs> it's so strange, isn't it? It's just like, mm, <laughs> I'll just turn a blind eye to this. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's just like, the guy's got a secret basement. How? Why? What? What? why are we introduced to this now as well it's just like so strange he just like dangles the key in front of his face and then puts it back in his shirt pocket <laughs> it's like I'll be keeping that thank you very much yep. and yeah Erin's all very excited by the prospect of um, finally being able to get into the basement uh, but his mum's still really pissy about it mm -hmm. <laughs> calling him foolish and he gets really annoyed and walks off and then gets into, um, and then we meet a bunch of boys picking on another child. Yeah, so then we have their friend Armin. Armin, I love Armin. Yeah, he's got like <laughs> this long bowl cut type of haircut going on. <laughs> yes. The, it um, looks fine when he's like a kid, but like when they do the like time jump and he gets older, he looks like really, really weird with that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's a little, little blonde, little blonde dude, bowl haircut. Um, very wimpy in many ways mm -hmm. and for some reason these kids are calling him a heretic and bullying him and uh erin runs to his rescue uh but actually uh is it miska beats them all up uh mikasa mikasa yeah so I, well, I keep saying it wrong so mikasa. she doesn't beat them up but they're like oh erin's coming finally we can beat that little shit and then they're like oh no mikasa's with him get away <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a running thing in this where mikasa's like the uber hard one <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> for some reason she's just like you know absolute, <laughs> absolute kung fu beast. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, so they save, so they save the little blonde kid. Yeah, uh, and what's, then they what's like his name go, again? Um, Armin. 
Armin. Oh, God, I've got to remember all this. I need to watch. Uh, see, the thing is, I, I've read it and then I've just immediately forgotten all of it. I need to watch the TV show. It'll stick in my head a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> my secret, other than, well, I know like the na- main ones, like names. I have a list of important characters right in front of me. <laughs> ah, yeah, I probably need to make some notes. <laughs> I kind of just thought, uh, we'll just dive into this one. It'll only be two chapters. It'll be easy to remember. <laughs> yeah, that's no problem. Uh, I should remember from Tavi and Pod that it's not always that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes you're disgusting saying, like, I don't remember that happening. <laughs> um, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they all start uh, sitting around talking about things. Um, uh, yeah, Armin's telling them like this fight started because he said like a stupid force to stay like in the wall like we need to see what's out there um you know the whole cage bird thing and he's like you know they don't want to let us out of the wall because they think that the titans can slip in if we're too like easily going out but there's no guarantee that just because they've never broken in before that they won't break in today and then explosion (laughs) (laughs) yes (laughs) i love that bit (laughs) Yeah, they could, you know, they could just break in any time. And yes, we're we're back to seeing this huge smoke going over the wall. Then slowly, this hand creeps over the wall, and it's just like, oh my god, the wall's fifty meters. And then yeah, then we start seeing the uh, the bald head start to rise up, and there he is, the Titan. Uh, and he's very, um, I want to use the word like muscular. It's almost like he hasn't got skin. Yeah. So you can kind of see all the muscles over his face and you can see his teeth and all the bits holding it together. And he slowly swings his foot back (laughs) and smashes the gate. He doesn't break the wall, he breaks the gate. (laughs) It's just like, this little bit will be enough for all the Titans to get in. Yeah. And then it also says on there, the day the human race remembered. So um, (laughs) can you pull up the, like, I assume you have it in front of you, right? Yeah, yeah, I've got the mangrove. Right? Okay. The, like, panel where he's about to kick the wall in, his foot looks so weird. It looks like it, his foot is, like, he's just got toes at the end of his, like, calf. <laughs> yeah, it does look really strange. And he's if you look at his other foot, it's kind of, like, growing like out of the f- ground. <laughs> yeah, his yeah. other foot's, like, growing out of the ground. And this one's just, like, yeah, just suddenly, like, it is, like, his, his leg ends in a stub, and it's just got little toes on the end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's just really strangely drawn. Obviously, a Hajime can't draw feet very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Like um, having just read chapter one twenty one, <clears throat> his like art styles so much better now than it was when this started. Like, <laughs> yeah, like he does like way more detail. Um, like most of these look like you know like a sketch that he intended to go back to later. <laughs> You know, like the big panels, <laughs> yeah. like have like lots of detail. Like when you see uh, the colossal titan, which is what they end up calling the big titan, when you see his face, like that's like really well detailed and shaded and everything. Hmm. But that foot, nope, <laughs> nope, it <that> looks terrible. <laughs> and then that's basically the end of the first chapter. It flicks over. You can see a bunch of titans uh, ready and waiting to go through the gate that's just been smashed open. And um, yeah, then we flick to the next chapter. Should we just dive straight in? Yeah, let's just go for it. Yeah. So we're kind of reading an old book. <laughs> and um, everyone knows 107 years ago, Tyler knew that. I thought it was 1,000 years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, this is called episode two, That Day, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, so 107 years ago, everyone save for us was devoured by the Titans. Um, <clears throat> but human race, uh, what was left of it, uh, constructed a safe titan free domain by erecting these huge walls that was until five years ago <laughs> so yes and then we flick back to what happened five years ago when old mr um colossal um foot <laughs> colossal foot <laughs> colossal foot well, let's call him um, big foot uh, yeah well now let's call him <laughs> i want to call him like um ankle toe or something ankle toe <laughs> tony <laughs> Tony? <laughs> yeah, okay. we can call him Tony, because his toe's right by his knees. That's when Tony <laughs> kicked in the wall. <laughs> yeah, he smashes the wall through, and it's, it's, it's so nicely drawn. There's basically just, like, pages of panic here. 
mm-hmm. <laughs> where there's bits of falling brick coming down everyone's running away oh my god he's made a hole in the wall everyone's running in the houses absolute. are getting destroyed by all of the like brick <clears throat> yeah it's just like it's mostly just the destruction like we can even see like just some bloke's feet and there's a big stone poking out the ground <laughs> so he's just been completely crushed by it. this is it is very graphic this stuff yep <laughs> and it only gets more graphic <laughs> it does it just gets more and more graphic and we find a huge stone on top of Erin's house and he's like mom <laughs> and his mom's so, like top half is hanging out and she's like yeah she's under a load of wreckage from the house it doesn't look like she's been completely crushed it looks like you know if you ha- if you had time and like a fire service <laughs> you could probably you probably could get around and rescue her and then we can see from a couple of streets over uh, some titans wandering around the streets so they are desperately running out of time here to get Erin's mum free yeah and she and, um, but why yeah. they're trying to rescue oh yeah go on Karen. oh i was just <laughs> gonna say she's like begging them to like forget about her like just get out of there because her feet are broken anyways and they're not going to be able to carry her if they manage yeah, to get her out that's exactly what i was going to say yeah <laughs> it's like erin take misaka and get out of here um mikasa yeah. mikasa <laughs> <laughs> and get out of here i'll, I'll watch the manga tomorrow <laughs> and I'll, I'll get the name white by next week <laughs> by yeah. next month um, and so <clears throat> then we see this big extra creepy looking uh, titan come up it's got like this creepy smile on its face <laughs> I love this with the Titans. Some of them just like the looks that he gives the faces are just brilliant. <laughs> and like he's got like yeah, like I say, he's got a very weird, creepy smile, and he's got like really just sort of like weird, greasy hair and a bowl cut. <laughs> yeah, he just looks um, really like messed up. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw the anime, I was I found the Titans like really creepy looking because like they're so like they're human looking but something just like is slightly off it's kind of like the uncanny valley where it's like they just don't look <laughs> they look a little too fucked <laughs> yeah they do and there's also there's one of the scenes here where suddenly uh, mr haynes turns up yep so the drunken guard from before <clears throat> yeah he and pops uh, up. and then and interestingly the mum shouts out wait you mustn't fight it she doesn't want Mr. Haynes to fight the Titan. And uh, it's quite it's quite a far off shot here, but you can see uh, Mr. Haynes like chasing towards the Titan. And you can also see the Titan's penis. <laughs> the, t- the Titans do not have penises. Yes, I know. They seem to have cannon that <laughs> out. I, I see what you're talking about. It does look like a penis. <laughs> it really does look like it. I, I wonder if at this point he was wondering, should I draw penises in all these Titans? <laughs> or, it's like, or is that just going to be too much cock later on uh, yeah it's like maybe he did draw a penis on this one and then he erased it it's like a little blurred <laughs> <laughs> oh it's such a strange one yeah but it's like, um, well, this is going to be a girl titan <laughs> and then we're treated to a nice little scene with Haynes here where he panics <laughs> he's just like hey man don't, underest- don't underestimate me and then he's just like uh nah fuck this <laughs> Yeah, I'm not fighting this thing. And so he listens to the mum. He grabs Erin. He grabs Miss, uh, Miss Mikasa. Mikasa. <laughs> Mikasa Sukasa. I thought I should remember it. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs Mikasa and just runs off. <laughs> and the mum looks very relieved and says, thank you. Um, <clears throat> and then she shouts at him saying, survive, Erin Misaka. Mikasa. <laughs> Sukasa. Mikasa Sukasa. Mikasa Sukasa, yes. My home is your home. <laughs> Which is kind of funny though that I think about it. I wonder if he did that on purpose since uh Mikasa is adopted. <laughs> yeah. It is a bit strange. And then uh yeah, then Erin who's um he's kind of on the shoulders of the uh, height of Haynes, uh, looking backwards at his mum as the Titan lifts up the roof of the house picks her up and eats her it's, yeah puts her in you her just mouth eat. uh legs are hanging out and yeah, then just... there's a nice little snap <laughs> yep <laughs> and then they do oh. like a close-up of aaron's face and his eyes are just like huge and horrified <clears throat> and then he starts beating up haynes <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like oh we'd have saved my mom if you'd have showed up a few seconds later you bastard <laughs> Oh yeah, he really hates Haynes. <laughs> and then he's and then he calls him a coward for not facing the Titan either. Yeah, and 
Hans or Hans, I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, he admits that he just like, he wasn't brave enough to face the Titan. He's yeah. like crying, and everyone's crying. I don't think Mikasa's crying though. <laughs> uh, no, nah, she's just really annoyed. <laughs> she's just a, she, she's a silent, violent type. <laughs> <laughs> and then then we're treated to the evacuation scene where everyone's trying to get onto the boats, but all the boats are full, so they're all queuing up. Yeah, and Which, then uh, um, we Mikasa and Aaron <clears throat> get on the boat. I don't know what happens to Armin. I don't it's know not, how he escapes. Yeah, it's not very clear. So are they on the boat? They are. Right, okay. So the boat's about to depart. They're on it. And then suddenly we get another Titan smashing through another gate. Yeah, and this one they refer to as the Armored Titan. Armored and, Titan, um, because he literally looks like he's just covered in, like, um, tortoise shell. <laughs> yeah, and they're, like, <laughs> shooting at him with cannons, and it's doing nothing. So he's not as tall as the other one. So we're instantly introduced to two, like, special titans, as it were. So the one that ate um, Eren and Eren's mum is just, like, kind of your bog-standard titan. They come in various sort of shapes and sizes. Some of them, like, their heads are too big for their bodies and stuff. They're all sort of, like, weird and gross. But then occasionally we're introduced to... Um, I, mean, I assume they'd probably have a name for them, but they're, like, special titans. Yeah, um, what do they call them? Oh, I, see, I started watching season two and they did refer to them. Yeah, uh, I can't remember what they call them. It's like atypical. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're not your atypical titan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we've got this giant colossus and we've got armored titan. Straight away, first two chapters. Boom. I was I was so pleased with that. But um, this armored titan's like absolute super speed. He just zooms past smashes all these people out of the way and then we <clears throat> uh do we flick back no they're on the boat <laughs> yep they're on the boat and so i don't really understand how everyone gets away so the colossal titan well first of all so how these walls are there's three main walls and then where this city is uh how do we yes, pronounce well, it Shigen, actually because we treat we're Shigen, treated Shigen. that <laughs> we're treated to that in a second, aren't we? We actually get a little picture of it laid out. Yeah. We flick five years forward. So, yeah, it's kind of, like I say, in, in the, from what I remember from the um, animated series, they're on the boat, <clears throat> and then the boat starts to depart as the Titan breaks through the wall. Then the armored Titan disappears, and then all the other Titans start coming through. And then everyone starts panicking, starts jumping into the water, trying to get onto the boat. And it's just like the boat's just like, no, let's, let's save for who we can. <laughs> Just, yeah, so I'm guessing basically everyone that's not on the boat dies. Yep, pretty much. They're all just left to their own devices. Yeah, because uh, Aaron... Shiganshina is, um, it's not actually inside of the three walls. It's on like a little outcropping that's also walled in. Yes. Uh, so the Colossal Titan broke into there, and then the Armored Titan broke in through Wall Maria, which is the outer wall. Correct. So, yep. and yeah, that, so the way that out because that confused me so much when I watched the second season <laughs> after not watching the show for like, yeah, I was just like, where years. is this guy? Where is this guy coming from? Like, what is going on here? Yeah, I'm like, so, I thought he already broke through the wall. <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, where does this boat come from? So, basically, what you have is you have got what looks like four rivers coming to a point in the middle, and there's a castle in the middle, there's always a castle, and then round the castle is a wall which is called Wall Sheena. And on each four points of this river, so, you know, each one's almost like a sort of a cross, basically. I don't uh, think you those get are little... rivers. I think those are just, uh, like, walkways. I could be I wrong. Thought, I thought it was the river, because otherwise I don't understand where this boat's coming from. <laughs> 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 Maybe um, Shish Kebab just had, a, had its own river. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some of the other ones don't. I just uh, assumed that was why they would put them all in the towns there because then there's flowing water, you know? Yeah, could be. <clears throat> but yeah, you essentially get the castle, then a, then a bit of ground, and then a, a wall going around it. So the first wall is Wall Sheena. And then you get four, like, little half loops on each side. Like, you get a semicircle on the outside of each wall, which contains a city within itself. And then you get a space around there. And then the next wall, which is Wall Rose which also has four cities attached to the outside of it, which have got their own big wall around it, and then another spatial area, and then Wall Maria. And so, yes, 
so where Erin and the guys lived, where the first Titan smashed his weird deformed foot through the gate, is one of the little outside cities. And then the armored Titan smashed through the inner gate of War Maria. Yep. And so, so the reason that there are those like small cities outside of the wall, um, they're basically they're like bait cities. Uh, they're to attract the Titans to those points. Uh, so that it's cheaper for them to it like it's impossible to have military across all of the walls because it's so huge because it's the size of a country so they just have military at those locations oh i didn't know that yeah it, it explains that at the end of the chapter oh that big bit of text <laughs> i yep. just i just saw that for oh, i'm not reading it <laughs> i'll have to make sure i read those in future yeah, and, so, uh, and that big bit of text, it's like, and we'll explain sort of how the walls are made later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's that comes much later. <laughs> I don't think they even start explaining that until season two of the manga of the uh, animated series. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, so we skip forward five years to eight five zero, which is where I got really confused because this is at the end of the boat scene, Erin shouting out of those animals on this earth, <laughs> and you're like eight hundred and fifty of them. Don't. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was just like, he, yeah, he vows to kill each one of them, and then it says eight fifty. I'm like, is there eight fifty? Is there eight? How's he know it's eight hundred and fifty times? <laughs> <laughs> he counted. He's seen them. <laughs> um, yes, and so we sort of skip forward to the guys and their training in order to become part of the uh, survey corps, and then that's the end of the chapter. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Apart we actually we see the that end. they graduated, so we know that you know they're all going to be real soldiers. <laughs> and yes. yeah so yeah. Um, I think we'll end, uh, we can end that on next time it's going to be our turn next time the humans will devour the titans <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's how the actual thing ends <laughs> and then yeah apart from the thing about all of the titans attacking all of the walls but no they just attack the town bait yeah, yeah. all good so uh, there's a couple of scenes I want to ask you about before yes. we wrap it up indeed um so yeah, so I told you <clears throat> 9 and 13 are like numbers that repeat, mm -hmm. like you see them often. So let me show you a few examples of that. So for okay. whatever reason, um, this is in chapter 1. Page 13 is the only page of that volume that's numbered. Yep. And um, that's, on, okay. um, that's where Aaron's waking up from that dream. <laughs> so what so only page 13 is numbered yep out of this entire volume only page 13 is numbered that's um, weird and the tree did, he's did sitting under that? has nine branches <laughs> okay yep so um i also wanted to ask you and i'm going to ask you this every episode <laughs> um so what do you think like who do you think he's talking to in that dream and like what do you think he was dreaming about <laughs> well it looks like it does look like uh mikasa mikasa to be honest with you <laughs> yeah it's got her scarf yeah uh, it's got her scarf from the dream saying mikasa When'd your hair get so long? Because it's shorter in the dream. If that is her, yeah. So, I I kind of assume he's having a, a weird flashback to maybe when she was adopted. Maybe. <laughs> I I don't know the answer yet. <laughs> oh, you don't? Yeah. What? I thought you knew. <laughs> no, the newest chapter kind of. I feel like it's going to be explained in like a month or two. The newest <laughs> All right. chapter like starts pointing towards it. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. So the other question is, so the title of the first chapter is, to you, 2,000 years from now, um, who do you think the you is? Well, <clears throat> it kind of feels like, it kind of feels like it's, I mean, obviously I don't know at the moment. It, it was one of those things where it's just like, hey, this is what happened 2,000 years in the past. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So we're we're two thousand years into our into our century. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so maybe this has something to do with Jesus. <laughs> so maybe we're the you. <clears throat> that that's you know 
Well, given the lack of information that I've got at the moment, that's the only possible thing I can grasp at. All right. So we're the you, Aaron's the Jesus. <clears throat> got it. Yep, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron is Jesus. When he's 35, he's going to start flipping tables. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and so what do you think is in the basement? Um, <clears throat> at, <laughs> oh, sometimes I have to really check my brain. <laughs> do you think it's porn? <laughs> I think it is porn. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, just like, Aaron, you're a man now. You don't, need the, you don't need to join the survey corps. Yeah. You've got everything you need in here. <laughs> I reckon I reckon his dad is a serial rapist and has lots of um, captive, captives down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he refers to them as his patients. Yep, he refers to them as his patients. He refers to them as his secret basement, and his wife is turning a blind eye, so she is complicit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> In a couple of chapters or a couple of arcs. <laughs> so, so what's our next arc then, Tyler? Um, so, our next arc is the Battle of Trost District, and so for that, to prepare for that episode, which comes out in a monthish, you need to read through Chapter Fourteen, Primitive Desire, or have watched through Episode Thirteen of the anime, also called Primitive Desire. And um, yeah, if you watch the anime, you will have also prepared yourself for episode three. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, okay, so up to chapter four. So chapters three to fourteen of the manga, or episode, you know, just watch up to the series episode thirteen of the first series. Yeah, we're just like halfway through it, I think. <clears throat> cool. Um, yeah, I think in future we won't we won't go through it so in depth because <laughs> there'll be a lot more to go on. So we'd have to really just like do some synopsis and just pick out scenes that we particularly like yeah but um yeah yep um if uh, yeah, you've I, got anything you want to say to us you can tweet us at coordinate pod on twitter or you can shoot us an email coordinate pod at gmail.com and yeah i don't yeah, i don't know what you have to say to us try not to spoil things for the future arcs because bill's like ignorant to a lot of it <laughs> but and you you like my ignorance don't you? yes <laughs> <laughs> Especially so, since uh, one of those questions I ask you, there's already an answer to. And ooh, um, really? I'm going to spoil it for you slightly. It's not It's not that Grisha is a serial rapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the 2,000 years from now. So No, no, no. I'm saying Grisha's not a serial rapist. So you'll have to come up with oh. a different answer next time. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So he's not, he's not a Joseph Fritzl. He's someone else. Yep. Do you guys know who Joseph Fritzl is? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was a guy in Austria who um, he was found to have like uh, a couple of women locked in his. So he'd built, but he'd built a basement and had locked some women in there for like twenty years, and hmm. wasn't particularly nice to him. And his wife kind of knew that they were there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a big thing. That was a big thing five years ago <laughs> when the police finally figured that one out. Uh, yeah, he is not a nice man. <laughs> Hmm. Is he dead? Uh, I think he's in prison for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't it think it he's seems dead. like I don't... one of those things where, like, you get caught, you commit suicide. But <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think I, I I thankfully think they caught him beforehand, and um, yeah, he will just rot in prison forever. Thankfully. Yep. We're <clears> yeah, we, we don't, this we episode don't... on a high note. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. We don't have death penalties over here. He will rot. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, let's let's hope there isn't women in his basement. In fact, we know there's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, right. I've dug myself a big hole. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah. Uh, do you want to plug your five podcasts? You've, you've plugged them a little bit. Uh, I'm just I'm just going to plug. Uh, oh yeah. If you if, you, if any of you guys out there are into the Wheel of Time, uh, obviously Amazon have just green lighted the new tv show and there's a lot of hype on twitter at the moment because they're uh, announcing uh, cast members like every wednesday <laughs> uh, wheel of time wednesday so yeah we've got a uh, wheel of time podcast where we're going to read through the books uh, one or two chapters at a time each week uh, and that's called the tarvrien pod uh, and i also have a podcast called uh, rpg the golden years where me and my buddy rich are slowly playing through a list of 500 old school rpgs uh, up for home consoles. So if you do like games like Final Fantasy, Grandia, um, Saga, uh, you know, all those sort of things, come listen to us over there. Yeah. So um, this podcast has a much narrower scope. Like, I'm glad I'd like hold you in on this one because this one has like a definitive end, I feel like. Like, a, 
an <laughs> end that you can actually reach. Unless um, <laughs> the, the manga is supposed to end like within the next year or so. So unless this takes like a piece like One Piece <laughs> where it goes on for like a thousand chapters... Oh, this should be this. the one podcast you actually finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, because uh, the wheel of the wheel of time is going to be a ridiculous one. Because although that yep. series is finished, there's fifteen it, books. Yeah, there's fif- there's fifteen books, and they're all like fifty plus chapters each. And the last the last book has an has one chapter in it, which on the audible version of the book is nine hours long. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 amazing, <laughs> but but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I I still have no idea how we're going to cover that chapter in my one hour. I would just imagine like how I read books. I'm usually like, I'll read one more chapter. Like reading that one, I'd be like, when does this end? <laughs> yeah, I know. I had to do that. I kept flicking through, going, this doesn't end. <laughs> yeah, this does not. End. Um, so, anyways, um, um, you can catch my <laughs> other podcast, Too Young for This Hit. Uh, it's coming back, hopefully by the end of this month. Yeah. I, yeah, I need it to come back because I've got loads of stuff I want to watch with you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, keep an eye out for that. And until then, if you never <clears throat> listened, uh, you know, there's like 12 episodes or so out, I think. I think it's 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll they're all very good. I love month. the Aladdin episode. <laughs> the Aladdin is one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously the big door on Tron. <laughs> yeah, the, the Tron episode's like the least popular episode. So go go listen to that one. Really? It's a good one. Yeah. Oh, I love the Tron episode. <laughs> the Aladdin episode's like performing so much better than all the other ones. I guess because it's Aladdin, <laughs> I don't know. I think you timed it well with the film as well. So people might yeah. have been searching for it. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. I wanted to do Aladdin because my wife wanted to watch the live action film. We have still not seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Don't. <Yeah. laughs> so, right, cool. Um, That's it we'll from see the coordinate. Next month. Yep. I, I don't know what the coordinate is. Off. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to find that out until a long time. Ah, um, oh, man, I'm, yeah. I'm glad we've I'm glad we named the podcast after something I'm oblivious to. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, and actually, um, our logo is based on an image from Chapter 120. So, <laughs> oh, what? Well, I thought yeah. I thought it was to do with the tree that you were sleeping on. <laughs> no, nope. so you got 118 more chapters to go until you understand what our podcast is. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> oh, indeed. Um, yeah, so thanks for listening to the coordinate. Um, if you are, you know, walking outside of the walls, try not to get eaten. <laughs> yep. And um, let's see, is there a line in here I can end on? <laughs> nope. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going at... to kill. kill all 850 of them. <laughs> yeah. And until next time, I'll destroy you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Erin, Musaka. Musaka. <laughs> <laughs> Survive. <laughs> Aaron, moose knuckle. <laughs> Survive. Uh, we're never going to remember all the names we made up for the characters. <laughs> no, I like, I like moose knuckle. <laughs> <laughs>this is Troidal Power, host of the Troidal Power Presents the Power Playthroughs podcast with Troidal Power, a podcast where I, your host, Troidal Power, play through games in a powerful way. And I'm inviting you to listen to Troidal Power Presents the Power Playthroughs podcast with Troidal Power, a podcast where I, your host, Troidal Power, play through games in a powerful way. You can find it and a lot of other weird shows at probablywork.com. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at ProbablyWork for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.